Hello, I'm Tim. I play guitar from, in Mr. Shankly. I'm from the Black Country. Uh, my name is Richard. I play the bass guitar in Mr. Shankly from Vancouver, Canada. Now living in Birmingham, England. Enjoying myself here so far. Okay, my name is Benjamin Walsh. I am uh, the singer and the rhythm guitarist in Mr. Shankly. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Peter and I play the saxophone in Mr. Shankly. Hello, I am Elias, I come from Greece and I am the drummer of Mr. Shankly. Um, that's my fault that is. <laughs> uh, when I first met Rich and we, we was, was coming up with some songs and you know, jamming them out, recording them. I, was, I really wanted to call it Mr. Shankly, it was my favourite song at the time. I felt it represented what we were doing. Obviously things changed afterwards and it became more of just a name as opposed to a, an idea. The band started like um, in the middle of uh, 2009. Well, uh, Ben and I, uh, we'd been playing in a few different bands um, for a couple of years at least. and. Uh, weren't really getting anywhere, weren't getting much out of it and um, Ben had always been playing drums to be honest with you and uh, he came to me with all these songs he'd been writing and I just thought they were fantastic you know he's, he, was a, he was a good singer, he was a good guitar player, he was good melodies and that so So we decided to uh, set up a studio within the tool shop where he works and just start recording stuff on a 16 track to start with and that's where it all began really uh, I just saw a, an ad. I was, I was a bit. I wasn't playing in a band at the time, so uh, I just saw an ad on the internet. I just found, got in touch with Ben. Took it from there, really. Uh, it was like totally randomly meeting um, in a pub one night. I was here like uh, two months in Birmingham, without having friends and without knowing anyone. And uh, I found um, uh, Timo, our guitar player. And we had a conversation, uh, to be honest, a strange conversation. I'd gone out for a few drinks in town, in Birmingham, over Christmas, and I bumped into Elias and started just chatting about music. And I asked him if he was, a, if he was an anarchist, and he says, how do you know that? And I, he said, I don't know. I said, I don't know, I was drunk. And uh, his friend said he plays drums, so I said, well, we're looking for a drummer in our band. And that's it, really, the rest is history. I was a part of another band which Elias, the drummer, was a part of. And um, he asked me one day to come over and play with his band, which is Mr. Shankly. And um, I thought to myself, okay, you know, I ain't doing nothing else, so I might as well go down and see what's going on. And um, we started playing and it felt natural. Realized very quickly that we got on well, we, we really enjoyed being together, spending time together, you know, became good friends and uh, obviously had the same goals and enjoyed the same type of music. I would say Mr. Shankly plays a mixture of reggae, ska, pop and world music. Um, the music's a mix of, I don't know, all kinds of stuff that we've been into all our lives, you know, ska, reggae, pop, rock, a bit of um, space rock here and there, just a big mix of everything. I feel that there is a freedom in their music. I feel that their opportunity to allow the music to go somewhere else sometimes is what makes Mr. Shankly so great. I mean, sometimes we don't have a clue <laughs> what we're doing until we actually get to the actual place we're performing. And for us to do well, as Mr. Shankly does, and to allow the crowd to be a part of that, I think that's Mr. Shankly's strong point. It's such a, such a strange uh, combination, to be honest with you. Um, myself, growing up in Vancouver, Canada, I was three hours away from Seattle my whole life with grunge music and hard rock and you know, heavier stuff and that. And uh, that's what I was brought up with. And I think Ben himself, he's a little more like that, you know, a little more that way inclined, but also being brought up in Birmingham. His parents always listened to ska music and reggae music, so that's what he was he was brought up in, you know, brought up on, excuse me. And uh, the same with Tim, that's the music he listens to, you know, that's what he loves. So 
And then, of course, Ilias, a very, very talented drummer, um, you know, definitely knows his stuff. And he plays, you know, tries to do different things with each song instead of just basic reggae stuff, basic ska. You know, he really tries to mix it up. And that's that's fantastic. Uh, Peter, saxo player, plays more um, uh, because uh, he loves gospel music and this stuff. We are family and, you know, we do go through some difficult things and Overall, in the end, we do get results, and I hope that people do receive that. Nothing sounds like Mr. Sankley. It's only Mr. Sankley, that's all. Bye. 